the PowerPoint abilities go far beyond creating presentations. Using standard PowerPoint tools, you can also build mini-games with animation tricks or video presentation, and make quizzes with strict navigation. And to do one, open a new slide and type in the title of your quiz. You can also add some additional information. Then add an image that will be in line with your topic by clicking on the Insert tab and choose Pictures. Click and drag the picture to where you want it to be on the slide. Then move on to the next slide and create your question in the title box. Then add an image that will be in line with your topic by clicking on the Insert tab and choose Pictures. Click and drag the picture to where you want it to be on the slide. Add reply options to your questions by going to the Insert tab, then click on Text box. Type in the first option, then continue to add the rest of them. Multiple choice tests typically contain one right answer, or also called the key, and three wrong answers are also called distractors. However, you are still free to add as many options as you'd like. And when you're done doing the first question, add an additional slide saying that the learner has chosen the right answer or a congratulatory message. In the content box, Add a phrase that will encourage students to continue the quiz. Perform the same actions to create the wrong answer slide, which will be displayed when test takers make a wrong choice. But this time, give your learners a chance to go back to the question and try again. Compose the other question and answer slides for your quiz in the same way. And go on adding the correct and incorrect answer slides after each question of your PowerPoint quiz. The next thing to do is to link the right and wrong answers to the relevant feedback slides. To do this, click on the Answer text box, then go to the Insert tab and click Hyperlink and select Insert Link. In the Open window, choose Place in this document and select the necessary correct or incorrect slide. You'll need to repeat the actions for every single slide. To continue navigation from the feedback slides, add a hyperlink to the continue quiz text. Once again, you'll need to repeat the actions for every single slide because feedback slides should lead to a new question every time. And to let your learners go back to the question, Open the slide for incorrect answers and click on the Try Again text. Add the hyperlink to the question where the learner made a mistake. This time, go to the Insert tab and at the bottom of the Shape Tools menu, you will see the Action buttons. Select Action button Custom and Draw button. Select Hyperlink to the last slide viewed. Now, your short multiple choice quiz in PowerPoint is ready. If you found this video helpful, kindly like and subscribe. You may also click and turn on the notification bell so you can be notified from whenever we release new videos.